let's take a look at how to create histograms. Ethan created the table below to keep track of how far he could run based on how many days in a row he practiced. Use the data in the table to complete the histogram below. Well, if I look at the table, I can see when he practiced five to nine days in a row, he ran one kilometer. So I'm gonna go to my graph and where it says five to nine on the x-axis, I'm only gonna bring that up to one because my value here in the y table is one or in the y column is one. For 10 to 14 days, he ran three kilometers. So for 10 to 14, I'm gonna drag this all the way up to three. For 15 to 19 days, he ran four kilometers. Okay, so we're gonna start dragging this up and making sure it reaches four on the y-axis. For 20 to 24 days practice, he ran seven kilometers. So this one needs to reach all the way up to seven. Okay, so keeping in mind, just like we saw in the last problem, our histogram is gonna be a visual representation of the numbers we see in this table. Notice the practices ranges of numbers, 35 to 39, 40 to 44, and so on, that we see in the X column are on the X axis. So for each of those, we wanna match them up with how tall they need to be on the Y axis. So for 30 to 30, 39 practices, he had three points. So I want this to go to three. And let, let's read our question here. A high school basketball coach counted the number of points her team scored each game and graphed them against how many practice sessions they'd had before the game. So when they had 40 to 44 practice sessions, they scored five points. Okay, so in, on 40 to 44, I'm gonna draw that all the way up to five. For 45 to 49 practice sessions, they scored two points. And for 50 to 54, they scored five. For 55 to 59, they also scored five. Arachnid girl made the table below so that she could track how many flies are needed to attract a certain number of spiders. Use the data in the table to complete the histogram below. Okay, well we can see for zero to nine bait flies, she caught three spiders. Okay, so we're gonna put our first bar up to three. For 10 to 19 flies, she caught 14, or I'm sorry, four spiders. For 20 to 29 flies, two spiders. For 30 to 39, three spiders. And for 40 to 49, also three. Sarah hosts parties a lot and wanted to make a graph to find out how many bags of chips are required based on how many guests there are. Use the data in the table to complete the histogram below. 30 to 39 guests need four bags of chips. 40 to 49 guests was also four bags of chips. 50 to 59, same thing, four bags of chips. 60 to 69 guests, there were no bags of chips. Okay, so notice zero would be at the bottom, so I'm not gonna put anything for 60 to 69. And then 70 to 79, eight bags of chips. Researchers collected the following data on how many dinosaur species there were in relation to how many different plant species in an area. Use the data below to complete the histogram. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more work because they gave me the raw data and I need to create the table myself. Okay, so notice on the x-axis, we have plants. So that means I'm gonna put the number of
plant species in the X column. And notice in the Y axis, we have dinosaurs. So I'm going to put the number of different, I'll put dino for short, species in the Y column. Now I have to pay attention to the ranges here. For 40 to 49, or 40 to 59, that's the first range I see in my, on my X axis. So I'm going to say, okay, well in a plant, So for 40 to 59 plants, how many species were they? How many dino species were there? Okay, so let's count how many of these numbers fall in between 40 and 59. I've got 64, 102, 109, 64, 75, 100, 121, 87, 60, 61, 57, okay, that's 1, 58, 92, 92, 113, and 85. Okay, so of all the numbers in that data, only two of those numbers fall between 40 and 59. Okay, so in my, in my first bar here for 40 to 59, I'm going to go up to 2. Now I want to see how many points from my data are between 60 and 79. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Okay, so between 60 and 79, there were five dino species. Our next range of numbers is 80 to 99. Okay, and let's count how many of these numbers fall between 80 and 99. I've got 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so I'm going to go up to 4 with that bar on the chart. Okay, we've got two more categories. We've got 100 to 119. Okay, and in the 100 to 119 range, I'm going to circle this time because I'm, I'm running out of room to underline too many more times. I've got one, two, three, four, So we're going to go up to 4. And then the last column was 120 to 139. And I can see in this whole list of numbers, there's only one number that falls in that range, 121. So I'm only going to go up to 1 for that last bar.